Did you know that countless products that are present in our daily lives come from planted forests? These forests also play a fundamental role in preserving natural forests, maintaining biodiversity, and carbon sequestration, which helps reduce the impacts of climate change. But just like human beings, planted forests can also get sick. From the time they're planted, trees are vulnerable to attack from pests like insects, bacteria, and fungi that affect their growth. As a result, we need to take care of our forests so they don't get sick. A way to responsibly protect them from pests and diseases and guarantee productivity is through Integrated Pest Management, IPM. IPM brings together different techniques which are divided into several phases. First comes planning and planting. During this phase, the cuttings that are best suited to the climate and soil of each site are chosen. It's important to choose the healthiest and well-nourished cuttings and when possible, those that are resistant to the most common pests. Next comes monitoring. This is the main phase of IPM since it closely follows the development of planted forests and the presence of pests in the area. The next phase is decision making, which is based on the monitoring and decides whether the number of pests in the area requires immediate control. The choice of control method depends on the type of pest, level of infestation and environmental conditions. There are several methods for pest control, such as biological and chemical controls. Biological control uses organisms such as bacteria, viruses, fungi, and even predatory insects to reduce the number of pests. Chemical control uses pesticides consciously and responsibly. Just like any medication, pesticides should be used appropriately, considering the correct products, dosages, and recommendations from a professional. Lastly, the efficiency of the control is checked. No matter which method is chosen, periodic on-site inspections are always made to check if the number of pests has decreased. IPM brings together the best techniques that target balance and protection of forests without neglecting the human health and environmental aspects.